Hey guys, welcome back to Dark Angel Beauty. I am Andy, and if you recognize this hot mess that is currently my being, it is because you saw it in yesterday's video where I did the um, first impressions. I forgot what I called it. The first impressions of the Anastasia Beverly Hills stick foundation, and I also used the stick contour. Um, this is what I've created so far. I wanted to do what I did with the Stila products uh, where I did the first impressions of the foundation and then I went ahead and did like a featured look. I wanted to do something a little bit different. I think that, I mean, the featured look, the brand spotlight, that is definitely going to be a recurring theme on my show. Same thing with the first impressions. However, today I wanted to follow in with the same brand but with another first impressions. This is one that I've been trying to do for a really long time. This is my first impression of the Alyssa Edwards Anastasia Beverly Hills palette. I picked this one up in my very first haul video. It was one of, I think it was our very first video that we posted aside from our channel, our channel, our channel, our channel trailer. Um, so this is the palette. I will show you guys again what the inside of the palette looks like because it's absolutely beautiful. Cover it. Whoops. Um, <laughs> But that's, those are the colors, very bright, very pigmented. I have not swatched really any of them. I have not played with it at all. I wanted to do a first impressions on camera for you guys. That being said, I picked out the colors, so I at least kind of went in there with some idea of what I was gonna do. I'm going to do like a purple themed look. I really wanted to use Unicorn Tribe, Brick Road, uh, Believe, DD, DDG, and BBDC. I should have probably went ahead and applied my eyeshadow primer off camera. I did not do that, so we're gonna do it now. I'm gonna go ahead and use my Urban Decay eyeshadow primer potion. It's what I pretty much always use, so I know that I like it. Uh, I like the formula. I try and do that with the first impressions for the foundations as well, where I use a neutral primer that I know I respond well to under normal circumstances. Okay, that's pretty well worked in there now. From here, I'm going to take my little angled brush, which I probably should have washed, but I did not do that, so my colors will probably be a little bit muddied, but sue me. I'm going to take this, and I'm going to go in with the shade Believe, which is the very bright purple color. I'm just going to take that, which it showed up really well on that brush, so I'm excited about that. And I'm just going to go from my outer corner inward, like at an angle like this. And I'm just going to tap it. I've said before that I like with pigment colors to just tap to really make sure that you get all that color in there. Really, honestly, I only swiped it a couple times across the palette. I am going to go in and get a little bit more product just to kind of make it a little bit more tight in there. But, like, it's really sticking nicely. It's a beautiful shade, too. I love my purples. You guys know that. I think that's why I like this palette so much just, like, from the pictures of it because it had so many pretty purples and, like, pink colors. That's beautiful. I have to say, I really like that. I am a big fan of this color. And I really like the application with the brush. I think I swatched this one when I did the haul and it didn't really go well on with my finger, but this is really just, is that even? Nope, but that's why we blend. So <laughs> I'm gonna move on to blending. I'm gonna go in with Unicorn Tribe, which is the really light purple. Once again, didn't wash this brush. Sorry guys, I'm human, I'm doing my best. Um, I'm gonna go in, same thing, just kind of swirling it around. It also is very pretty. It's actually a little bit pinkier purple than I thought it would be. Oh, I like that. Come in and kind of tap and pull down. I'm trying to adjust for some of those lines that are appearing. I'm gonna do the same thing on the other eye. I have this weird quirk when I'm applying my makeup where I go, like, so whatever I start with and then I finish like doing the same thing on the other eye and then I start with the opposite eye like I don't know if that makes sense or if I'm just like delusional in speaking but like so I started with the purple on the side and then I went to the purple this side and then I did pink on this side and then I did pink on this side so when I go back in with the next color it'll be on this eye and then I don't know why I do that like some people start with the same eye and they just go back and forth like I, I don't do that I'm actually really liking this palette so far like I am I think that the hype has been totally worth it. I would say this is, I would argue this is one of the best ABH palettes to come out since modern renaissance, honestly. Um, and I don't dislike a lot of their palettes. Like they've had some pretty ones. I really liked the um, Riviera one. I liked the Norvina one. I had a little bit of issues with it, but I really am. I'm just super digging this one. I love the colors. Okay, so um, I'm gonna go in now. I'm actually, I didn't mention this one before, but I'm gonna go in with headliner, which is like the really, really white, 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 white um, color. And I'm just gonna blend into my brow line, that pink that we did. 
just so it's not like a harsh line and it's doing a really nice job of that it's kind of picking up and reflecting the um, eyebrow highlighter that I have on very nicely I always find I know I said this literally two minutes ago but I'm just so bad at matching stuff it's like it's like I get anxiety on the second one I'm like the first one looks good and then the second one looks like it like is drunk and should probably have gone home three hours ago uh, okay all right pretty close not perfect nothing in life is perfect okay and now this is the, I honestly have a really high hopes for this color I really really hope I don't hate it so this is that color that I'm gonna go in there with um, hopefully it really pops I think after having neutralized the area it will really pop but we will see what this bad boy is capable of it's so purple it's so pretty I probably should have used a different brush than the one with my concealer on because I feel like it's just kind of absorbing in the brush I'm just going to take this brush and kind of blend in that area and then I'm gonna go back with this blush this blush this brush yeah, I really like that. I really am a huge fan of that, actually. Um, I'm going to do the same thing on the other eye. Just purple it up. Take this, pink it up. I'm going to go in with that BBDC, which is the dark purple color that I said I was just going to use a touch of. I literally am just going to use it under my lashes. That's actually brighter than I thought it was going to be. I thought it was going to be really dark, but it actually... It's going on kind of light and neutral and I kind of really like it. Still along that purple theme, but just like, uh, yeah, not as dark as I thought it was going to be at all. So that's kind of cool. So this is just to try and get like a little bit more of a precise line. And I'm going to go back in with this big brush right here and come back in to just a little bit more of the white, like a good amount more actually, just so I can kind of neutralize this area and blend it a little bit more seamlessly. Um, my last step for this eye look, I'm going to go in with that yellow and I'm going to use that as my inner corner color because I think that's going to give it just like a little, oh, that is yellow. Oh my God. I'm in love with that shade. Wow. That's just beautiful. That's just absolutely beautiful. And it's, I really was not even trying to go in that heavy with it, but now I'm committed and I'm like, let me embrace my inner big bird. Let's do this. So honestly, honest review, first impressions of this palette, 100% I would, uh, if you love colors and you love bright colors and you're not afraid of working with colors and it's not something you're going to buy and be like, I'll use it and then you, you don't use it because you just don't want to work with those colors or you don't know how to, honestly, I 100% recommend buying this palette. It is beautiful. The colors have been so easy to work with, even with my muddy ass brushes. 10 out of 10, would recommend, would buy again. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and go off camera. I'm going to do my highlight, which I'm going to use the ABH Aurora palette because it has a really nice purpley tone to it. I think it will match the eye look I've created. Okay, so this is the final look. Um, I think the eyes turned out really pretty, even with my dirty brushes. I think it still did a really good job of like giving specific pigmentations of colors. I think blendability was easy, but you can still see where each color stands on its own. Overall, I would, say that the hype for this palette was definitely worth it. I think that it's probably the best Anastasia Beverly Hills palette that's been released recently. Um, once again, it's the Alyssa Edwards by ABH palette. It is absolutely gorgeous. There's just a lot of variety in this palette, and I think that's part of what makes it great. And then, I mean, each and every one of the shades was just incredibly easy to work with. The pigment was beautiful. It blended well. I just would, I would absolutely highly recommend this palette. I understand why the, ho the hype was so built up for it because it really has just blown me away. Um, hopefully you guys liked this. I really like doing the first responses because it's my first time experiencing the makeup on camera. So if I hate it, I'm honest. And if I love it, I'm honest. Um, if you guys like it, I would love to hear from you guys. If you agree with my decision about the palette, if you disagree, I would love to hear that as well. Um, and I would also love you guys to give me some feedback of what you like seeing, what you want more of, um, what we could do better, what we are doing well, all of that. I just really want to hear from you guys. I really want to get to know you guys better. And I really want you guys to kind of give me um, some feedback on how I can provide better content for you. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. If you like our page, then please check out a couple other videos and hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so that you see every time we upload a video. 
And as always, I hope you guys have a wonderful day and you stay girly, but with a dark twist.